Software engineering promotions may feel like this unspoken thing that just happens. You get lucky because your manager likes you or the product you're working on suddenly becomes successful. And though these factors may help, a lot of it is actually in your control. Today, we check out this article by Gergay Oroz, a tenured software engineering manager who successfully promoted all eight of his direct reports. Let's learn what you can do to get to the next level. As a junior engineer, I've often wondered, how should you get promoted? You get the pretty generic advice like, impact, drive more revenue for the company, mentor junior engineers, but more tangibly, what are the things I can do to get promoted? Well, today we're going to find out. Let's start with this like graph uh, or this, this chart, this pyramid at the very top where we have perception and we have reality. I guess the perception is that it's kind of equal amongst every level. And I'm not sure who actually perceives that because I, I think I knew for a long time that the more senior you get, the more experience you have. At the bottom, we have engineers, junior to mid-level engineers, which take up the bulk of the workforce in the tech industry. And that makes sense, right? Because it's fresh out of college, you have a couple of years of experience. And then as you get more senior, you you build more stuff, you become a senior engineer and there's, you know, a handful of them. But then after above senior engineers, this is like the staff, staff plus senior staff, principal, distinguished engineer, technical fellow. There's only a couple. I mean, there are so few at the very, very top that you can probably count them in the whole industry. Most tech companies follow an approach of promoting people to the next level who are already performing them. This is definitely true. This is what people have told me, my, my previous managers. If you want to be become a staff engineer, then you already need to be performing as a staff engineer. It's more likely for you to get promoted if you're already there. They're like, oh, the only thing I need to change is a, is a number somewhere, some title, and just give you more money. That's so easy. Yeah, call HR and get it done, right? What should they be doing? Maybe it's mentoring junior engineers. Maybe it's leading meetings. Maybe it's leading entire projects and design and all that good stuff. And so if you if you just sit down and reflect and you're like, wait a second, I haven't actually been mentoring an engineer. Would your manager be like, hey, the next new hire, can I be their engineering buddy? Right, that's the stuff you have to start doing so that you're already performing at the next level. Okay, get your manager on your side. This is true. No matter how much of a meritocracy it is, if your manager isn't on your side, it's going to be so hard to get promoted. Companies want to hire trusted top talent. And what better way than to trust your current employees? Well, it's the same thing with your manager. If you're ever like, oh, I don't want this to be weird. We had such a great relationship. I feel like if I say the word promotion or I want more money, it's going to make it weird. Like it's good for your manager too. Think about senior leadership. It's going to be like, hey, which teams are best compensated? Which teams have the best staff engineers? Which teams are the ones getting promoted? And that, that means that they're doing good stuff. They're building good product. They're making the company more money. These engineers are getting better and better. They're mentoring other engineers. That's a huge win for the company. It's in your manager's best interest to get you promoted because it also looks good on them. One of the criteria for a manager to get promoted is actually how many of his direct reports have been promoted. A manager whose team is becoming more senior indicates that they're doing an excellent job cultivating talent. And I wholeheartedly believe that. The higher you go, the harder it is to get there. And that's just like supply and demand, right? There's less engineers that can be at that level. So it's going to be more competitive. You're going to have to prove your worth more. And that usually takes more time, more years. Your team might be busy shipping small features and you're not going to be promoted to be on the senior level if that's all your team is doing. There needs to be some like meaty, big impact stuff that your team owns. And more importantly, you are kind of the one leading. Do you wait around? Do you move teams? Do you ask for harder stuff? Do you propose new initiatives? There are no simple answers. You'll have to take the initiative, gather support, and ultimately take smart risks in your career which is true. And that's usually why some levels are terminal, which basically means that as long as you stay at that level, you can't get fired. But it used to be senior was terminal and senior is usually terminal at most other companies. Okay. So once you know how the promotion process works, you've assessed yourself and have your manager on your side, it's time to focus. So you need to set goals to close the gap on areas you lack, act and take responsibility like you're already at the next level. And I say this a lot. This is the classic fake it till you make it. Just because you're not at the next level doesn't mean you can't act like you're already there. It's like this person's already acting like a staff engineer. We just have to change a title and give them some more money. Bet. Versus the, this person's great at senior. I see potential in staff. I'm not fully convinced, but let's just promote them and see what happens. You're going to feel weird about that. The company's going to feel weird. And so what's probably going to happen is you're just going to get pipped. And so it's not even in your best interest to get promoted before you truly are performing at that level. Because what might happen is that you're in above your head, you start drowning, the company realizes it, you realize it, and then they show you the door. Build tools that get adoption across your organization. Help a junior engineer succeed. Pair program with other people. Become that person that your manager keeps hearing about. Like, oh my God, Numen is so helpful. Numen is always free. Numen is so patient. Whenever I need help, Numen jumps on. In Slack or Teams or whatever you guys use, when someone types a question, jump in and be like, hey, I don't know the answer, but I'm going to help you find out. Or, hey, let me get back to you. When something goes wrong and on call, don't just like mute the alert, dive deep, really figure out what actually happened and fix it, right? Become that person that is that go-getter, the person that people trust. One of the best ways to get promoted is by taking initiative. And that's exactly what Codecademy is all about. 
They have both beginner and advanced content in 14 programming languages. And while the beginner modules require no prior experience, the advanced content is great for experienced learners looking to upscale. Their learning environment is also great, with the course content, the code editor, and the code output all in one screen right in the browser. And once you pass all of the exams in a select course path, then Course Academy professional certifications prove that you're actually ready for that next level. There's a seven day free trial to explore all the premium benefits, but I'll do you one better. The first 300 people to click my special link in the description get Code Academy Pro for free for one month. Now let's get back to getting you promoted. I've been meaning to make a video on this for so long. Have a brag doc or a hype doc. Is this like a journal where you're just like, I'm the fucking goat. Put down everything you've done. Even things that people don't even realize. Like, hey, spent 15 hours doing this. Have dates, have Slack links, have documents, have PRs of like, you know, fix this critical bug, like write it, have a, like just a append only ledger of all the ways you're killing it. And there's a couple ways why this is important. One, when it comes time for promo, you literally just copy paste because you're going to forget, right? You're going to forget the things you've done, all the awesome stuff you've done. The big things to remember, right? The high impact ones, but your manager already knows those, right? It's documented somewhere, right? How many interviews did you do? And then number two, when it's time to update your resume, because let's be honest, you're not going to stay at the same job forever. All those bullet points are going to come from that. You'll see patterns. You'll be able to get specific examples. You have links. You'll have hours saved, hours worked, lines of code written, and then you can just copy paste your resume. And so it's like doing future you a favor, doing a little bit of work now, just, you know, I'd say every couple of weeks or at the most once a quarter, just taking some time to be like, let me reflect on all the cool stuff I've done. Let me go through all my commits, all my PRs. Let me just like, you know, search for myself in Slack and see what I've been up to. Just document a little snapshot of your progress. It's going to help you a ton. Get a specific mentor. And some companies will have programs for this. But even if your company doesn't have a formal way to do this, just reach out to like some super senior engineer and be like, hey, I really admire you. I think you're doing some really great stuff. I'm looking for avenues for mentorship. Would you have 30 minutes every two weeks to just chat? Most times they'd be happy to do it. Once again, it's going to help them have one other person there helping and they can point to for testimonials. But number two, it makes people feel good. People like to do things that make them feel good. And what's a better feeling than helping a junior engineer get more money, get better, get promoted, have higher impact. That feels so good. You're like, hey, I, I had a hand in that. Letting people know the cool stuff you're doing is also important because your manager doesn't have all the time in the world. And it's not their fault. They have many reports, They're not going to remember things. And so in some one on one, just be like, he's like, hey, Neman, how'd the week go? There is a way to flex without flexing. Yeah, it was really good. I got assigned this really gnarly bug. I thought it would only take me a couple hours, but there was a lot of logs I had to go through. I actually had to talk to this team and that team. And I don't even know if you know about this new tool that, that we use to do distributed logging. Anyway, long story short, I was able to do it. it took many hours, but I think it's going to have huge impact uh, for us. And so I can definitely send you the PR if you're interested. Don't get complacent, but this is advice for any time in life. Like just because you think it's, it's a no brainer, like you did that insanely good project, got a bunch of money, like I'm just gonna like take my foot off the gas. Like who cares? Don't do that because people need to see sustained effort. And then don't believe anyone who promises you a short promotion. The first thing I tell all engineers on my team is that neither I nor a manager can guarantee a short promotion. If anyone tells you this, don't believe them. First of all, any manager can leave. This is facts. I mean, there was a time at Bolt where over six months, I changed managers three times. Sometimes one manager will promise you're promoted based on the great work I did, but they left. And then the new manager didn't have the context. Maybe it was out of their hands and they were like, oh, you know, we can't do it. You know, in a 20 year career, if you got promoted this month or six months from now, like it's not a big deal right now. It feels like the end of the world. Like, oh my God, I've been working so hard for this and I couldn't even get promoted. But in the long haul of your career, when you look back, you're not going to remember those extra six months, right? Early engineers at Meta, Google, that's where a lot of these other companies' cultures come from. This is how you get promoted. Make sure they see all the good stuff you're doing. And then the most important thing is to vouch for yourself. Unless you have like this insanely good manager who will just like be like, hey, we're putting you up for promo. Most times they'll wait for you, right? Your career is in your hands. And so you're going to have to ask that hard question, which is, hey, I think I've been killing it. Can I go up for promo and have that conversation? That's the real way to get promoted. Thanks for being here and I'll see you soon. Cheers.